a name? Well, a lot of Australian homeowners reckon there's more to it than just a bunch of letters. A house name can add character, individuality, it may be a piece of history, or it may just state the obvious. The tradition of naming homes started as soon as this country was settled. In those days, it was essential. With no house numbers, it was the only way visitors could find your place. Graham Gould's business, Authentic Nameplates, is kept going by people who want to recreate a little bit of history. What's the most popular names around? Most popular would have to be Rose Cottage. Rose Cottage? Rose Cottage. Where did that one come from? Mr and Mrs Rose, about 1805, I believe. If you're unsure whether your home had an original name, the best place to start is your local library or council. See if you can get hold of any of the old rate books, or this is probably the best thing you can get, the original sewerage plan. Now, according to this, nearly every home in this street had a name. Now, this is your street here, and that's your house. Yes, number 26. Right, now that says Warrington. Did you know your original name was Warrington? No. No, no that's wonderful. Well, it's know. probably the name of a place in England. You reckon? And Limbley Stoke's the name of a place in England. What about Solway? Yes, there's Solway a Solway. English? Yeah, that's Royston? another English one. Yes, there's Veronica? Royston. Well, that must have been the builder's girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> the cost of a name plaque will depend on the style you choose. A hand-beaten copper or brass one will start from about $140. But you can get some styles made for as little as $60. And house names aren't restricted to just older style homes. And there's no rule that says you can't indulge in a bit of wishful thinking when it comes to naming your home. Aboriginal names are now becoming very popular as well because they have a great sound and they also have their own meaning. Like this one, Warunga, which means our home. What's the funniest name you've had? Hard going. Hard going? Yeah, when I got the order for that one, I, uh, I spelt it out and I thought, A-R-D-G, etc, etc. And I thought, that sounds Scottish. And the woman said to me, no, it's hard going because it's been hard going for so many years and we finally got there. 